My name is Necip Özdecel. I'm working as Azure Business Group Lead in Microsoft UAE. So Jitex is a main activity for us in each and every year. So each and every year we are participating with our partners showcasing our new technologies. Last year, for example, we talked a lot about uh, UAE data center regions for all clouds, of course, including Azure as well. Mm -hmm. And this year we have a bit different design, more spacious. It's also a hybrid because we have also speakers joining online. And we are also showcasing some uh, demos uh, which is which is mainly based on leveraging AI, IoT, and edge technologies, and still we have partners on our booth to showcase their solutions, uh, complementing Microsoft Cloud solutions. Great. Um, so a big highlight, I know, a big highlight of Microsoft's participation this year is AI. So AI is considered to be one of the game-changing technologies today. So how is this technology transforming the way people work and live? Yep. So, so definitely AI is a disruptive technology. It is, it is very important. But as Microsoft, uh, we are putting human at the center for AI, for Microsoft mm -hmm. AI. So since you know our mission is empowering every people, every organization uh, on the planet. So Microsoft AI uh, does the same. So we are putting human at the center and trying to enable and empower with different tools, giving them insights uh, so that they can deliver more uh, for, for their whatever uh, doing. So this time it is for farmers, by the way. Mm -hmm. It is very relevant with our world, you know, current conditions as well. So if you think even from UE perspective, UAE is a food importer mainly, but there are really good developments to be self-sufficient. So government also put really strong targets uh, on this on this topic and there are really strong strategies. Uh, so that is the reason we are trying to leverage uh, artificial intelligence as well as Internet of Things and edge competing to help farmers mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to give them uh, insights to be more efficient, uh, to, optim to optimize their, uh, uh, whatever, whatever they are planning to produce. Uh, yeah, this is, this is in short uh, mm -hmm. what we are trying to show. Can you just um, elaborate a little bit more on Azure Farm uh, Azure Farm Beats and you know what was the driver behind it, this innovation? Yeah, there is an interesting story behind. By the way, it started as a Microsoft research project okay. uh, in in Redmond. So then they piloted in two commercial farms. By the way, in US. So based on really good results uh, and demand coming from the industry, we just made it available to everyone uh, as a product. It's a platform available on Azure Marketplace. Uh, so since, since it is a platform, by the way, to collect data, to, to form some uh, data to be used uh, for different insights, it can be used for everyone. I mean, not only for customers to get insights, but also partners can use this platform to develop additional type of products, insights to, to give out agriculture industry uh, from small farmers to large, you know, agricultural industrial type of organizations. So in short, it is collecting data from soil. So by using sensors, we are, we are trying to measure, you know, the humidity, moisture, pH, temperature mm -hmm. of the soil. We are also using drones to understand, uh, especially big lands, because uh, it is not easy to put, you know, hundreds of sensors uh, on a large sand. So we are uh, putting sensors and then using uh, drones to ex extrapolate the result to the larger environment. And we are using, by the way, uh, TV white spaces, which is uh, free and not used frequency, uh, available for everyone. And moving forward, Najib, um, what, what, what else can we expect from Microsoft in the coming year? So, so I think so. This is this is not only a, a good use case for agriculture industry, but you can think about this is also good for AI for Earth and AI for good purpose. So, since our resources are limited worldwide, 
and food production needs to increase 70 percent in the coming years because you know population is also increasing mm -hmm. i think uh, using limited resources with the help of technology it's a really good use case of ai so i think ai can help from different perspective as well because ai understands the past to predict the future so you can think about the same for traffic so health definitely it is you know top of mind mm -hmm. for everything uh, so i think in each and every area there can be a use case a fundamental disruptive use case that we can find for uh, ai for more physical type of interactions definitely iot comes to the picture as well and edge computing is becoming more and more powerful especially for those rural areas for the need of uh, you know high transactional type of immediate response type of needs such as uh, a health institution for example needs to respond uh, for a health uh, engagement so those are the things we see that will be coming more and more in the future